Well, we've been involved in natural resources for quite a long time now. You may remember that we were involved in the Galmoy zinc discoveries, uh, which in turn led to the revival of the Irish base metal industry. And Ireland is, of course, now ranked in the top 10 worldwide in production of zinc. It's one of the few things in which I think we do rank internationally in the top 10. Uh, but I've always believed, as did many geologists, that Ireland also had potential for gold. With those magnificent gold ornaments that you can see in the National Museum, they're really beautiful ornaments, they're fabulous ornaments. Um, and some of them date back, you know, 2,000, 3,000 years ago. And the old academic theory that somehow or other, somebody in a little boat rolled over with the gold to Ireland 2,000 years ago, and then we made it up into ornaments, just didn't seem uh, to be very sensible. Uh, but Nonetheless, there was a belief in Ireland for quite a long time, it was one of my school books, that Ireland had no natural resources. And again, this just didn't seem to add up. And as I say, we're now a major international producer of, of, of base metals. So I thought, let's see what we could do about gold. And I knew from a child that gold had been discovered up in Clontibret in County Monaghan. Very different sort of geology from where the zinc uh, down in Tara and Galmoy and so on is, but very interesting. So we did a lot of homework, first of all, looking at all the old reports, results, considering the area, this sort of thing, and felt, yes, this could be something big. Now, we didn't realize it was going to be anywhere near as big as it's turned out to be, but nonetheless, we thought it was worthwhile. And we did this even though at the time the price of gold was down towards $300 and people were saying gold is ended apart from maybe some use in jewelry, gold is finished, it'll never go up again. And I felt, you know, that doesn't add up uh, for all the respect one has for the US dollar and the tremendous American economy. Sooner or later, you're going to have a need for gold. It's been currency of last resort for nearly 4,000 years from the Romans through the British Empire after the war when America was at its height. All of these have related to gold. And so we hope to bring in our first gold mine in Clontibret. Uh, there's another 80% of Clontibret to be looked at. We're looking also at Clay Lake in County Armagh. We think there'll be quite a sizable gold mine there. Uh, and again, as I say, in other parts of Monaghan and Calvin, there are potential for further gold mines. So we're actually, with our technical people, working on what's known as a multi-deposit uh, strategy in which you try to bring all these things together. Uh, so I must say it's going well, but it's taking a lot of time. Before you bring in a gold mine, you have a whole series of processes that you have to go through. There's a the financial aspect that you mentioned, uh, but as well as that, there are a lot of technical processes that you have to do, and you have to do uh, all of them. And then as well as that, and quite rightly so, you have to go through a very detailed planning process, and you also have to go through an application for a mining license and all the environmental controls that are necessary. And we have a good record of this uh, country uh, with bringing in uh, mines. The Galmoy mine that we brought in for example, had the first double lining on a tailing pond uh, in Europe. We had the highest standards. As it so happens, I myself am a bird watcher, uh, and, and, and I've long believed things could and should be done ecologically, correctly, and well, and with consideration uh, for, as well as the, the actual natural life, the birds and animals and so on, also for people living in an area, the social consequences of somewhere. And I think rightly these things should be looked at and we'll certainly be going through the full process and very happy to uh, do so before we bring in a mine.